everyone and welcome to another video. This is not the video that I know I promised, like I said, <clears throat> that I was gonna do some alien isolation. Well, that didn't pan out. I'm really sorry. It just, I've, I'm, I currently have just way too much anxiety in my life. So it's just, I'm playing that game and I'm like, mm, do I... And I'm sitting there, it's so much anxiety inducing, and I already have so much anxiety, and it's just so much, and it's just piling up, and I'm constantly having to take panic breaks, and constantly having to stop just to, like, breathe in and breathe out before I have, like, a full-on panic attack. I'm just like, is this amount of stress and panic that I'm going through worth, <clears throat> worth the ultimate goal? you know, like, worth what I'm gonna put out, because last time when I put out Alien Isolation videos, it ultimately only got, like, what, across all of the videos, like, two to three views, and it's four videos, so it's just, like, it's not worth it in the end, so I was like, okay, let's do something else, have this video from, like, months ago, have a few videos from, like, months ago, that I'm like, okay, let's just record a voiceover for this build, and see where that goes so this build is something that i built uh before cottage living got released and so i was like i really like i really want to build cottage core so let's build cottage core and so i found two different builds online i found the the build that the main structure was based on <clears throat> sorry and then i found another build with like this waterfall next to it so i was like okay let's incorporate the two and this is what I got. Um, not the greatest, I would have to say. Like, it, it doesn't evoke cottage core to me. But it's a nice little magical lot that ultimately has some nice, you know, attributes. It's fully functional. <clears throat> Sorry. It's fully functional. It, um, <clears throat> wow. I'm really sorry. It's fully functional, it, uh, well, I can't really talk today, can I? Mm. And, you know, it has a little waterfall here, use tool to create this. Now, again, this was before we got the pond tool. Uh, so, that's why it's still using a pool, otherwise I probably would have just used the pond tool. And as you can see, I'm using tool to move various rocks down, and, like, just cover up the hills and things like that so yeah uh that path will change but i'm just like adding some wooden pieces here and there i was like just sort of like places that you can step on just so that you don't fall down and just meh, i just thought it would look cool and i'm just using basically tool to move it down so that it looks like it's in the ground and it's not just floating what it currently looks like it is doing uh but yeah filled a little round with it got it right to where i wanted it uh, yeah so and i hope i cut here but i'm not sure like i said i edited this video edited this video quite a bit ago so i can't remember what i left in and what i took out so just bear with me in in that regard plus like this was unplanned because I originally wanted to do alien isolation, but yeah. So how's everybody else's life been? Like mine's been kinda eh at the moment, still looking for a job, not really finding one. Kinda sucks in a sense. And then it's you have to struggle that much just to get a basic job. But I am still glad that my parents don't mind having me around and aren't, you know, advocating me for leaving just yet. So I'm happy about that. Um, you know, but I'm still doing as much as I can without having a job. So I'm cleaning around the house, doing all that. Wednesdays aren't the greatest for me because I have to clean the entire house and mop and do everything. And then other days it's just basic, just sweeping the house. So here's where the path changed. So at first I went with this dirt sort of path thing there, and then I went with this over it, 
and then I just went back over it with some dirt to blend it in a bit more. And I ultimately think it looks really good. Um, I do do this path in a few other builds that I don't think will be getting a speed build just because they're massive. Like, um, one is a medieval village that I still want to do, like, a work in progress thing with. And then the other one is a guild sort of thing. I uh, think Kaer Morn from The Witcher game. Uh, it's, it's inspired by that because at first I did want to build Kaer Morn, but... Uh, 64 by 64 is too small for that type of build, unfortunately. Like, I could build the full exterior, but the interior would then not be built. So it would just be the exterior. And I was like, I don't really want to do that. I can't really get a lot of great shots of the exterior. And I don't own the game, so I can't just be, like, going into the game. Ooh, take a few shots. Can't do that. So, <clears throat> couldn't really find a lot of shots online you know, actual, like, full-on where they, where people actually just take photos of the actual place, and it's not just, like, a gameplay video. So I was like, okay, let's scrap the idea because I couldn't build it there. So I decided to take that initial idea and just build a guild type of thing. It's still very similar in some of the ways of Caramorin, but it's not entirely Caramorin. Uh, that one is still very, very far. Like, I've only... I've com fully completed the build, like, in terms of building. I just need to now furnish it and do the exterior, and so wallpaper, everything like that is there. I just need to do everything else, which is taking quite a while because I just finished the kitchen, and the kitchen is a very, very detailed. It has, like, a bunch of crates with, with food in it, and it's, I don't know if it's entirely usable. Like, I'm not building the build to be entirely usable, but I think the cauldron in that area is fully usable, so you could technically eat. Uh, yeah, but here I'm just moving, like, grass underneath there, which was a mistake, because that footprint uh, basically interfered with everything above it, because technically those aren't two different floors. They're technically the same floor because that's just the stilted foundation. So that kind of screwed it up, and it didn't allow me to really place it there. So I had to later remove it when I playtested that little area. <clears throat> wow. My voice is really not having me talking today. So yeah, here I'm just quickly adding in the wallpaper and the flooring, just to make it actually look like a pond been brown and things like that. Um, just adding some more rocks and things. I've definitely gotten better with rocks and things like that, especially with using tool <clears throat> and such. But uh, this is still not my greatest build. I definitely think the one that I did in the medieval village, which you'll probably see one day, I'll just do quick like a little tour of the work in progress that I'm doing. Um, because I, I don't know when that is going to be finished. Like, I'm working on and off on it. There's other builds that I also am working on and off with that I haven't even touched in, like, months. So, and it's still really nice builds. Like, there's this one Vampire Mansion. It's huge. It's on the 64 by 64 lot in Dilso Valley. It's big. It has, it doesn't have a lot of outdoor space. But it has, like, this nice big pool outdoors. It has, like, a nice seating area, a hot tub. So it's a very fancy, like, place. But it's big. So it's going to take me a while to finish it. Like, I haven't even worked on the interior. I still need to finish the exterior. Finish that up. And then do uh, the interior. Do the interior floor plan. I think I already did the floor plan. Uh, then I need to add wallpapers. Wallpaper flooring, all that, uh, furnish it, and then, again, that guild build, I still need to do that, there's another, like, sort of mansion that I built in Forgotten Hollow that I need to finish, I don't, I don't even know how far I got with that one, but I really want to finish it, because it has this really cool clay, stained glass window type of thing, 
uh, it's, it's really cool. And um, I'm currently also working on another vampire build, but that's for a challenge, so I need to finish it before the end of October. Uh, it's also kind of big, but not that big, if that's essentially... If that... If that, I don't know. But so it's not really very big, but it is, it has space. And I still need to add the basement to that. As well as that other vampire built, that vampire mansion, I still need to add the basement there. But yeah, here I'm just adding the stairs. Uh, I do make a smaller bathroom there behind the stairs. So that little room that I got rid of for the stairs, I bring it back and just bring it back to like a two by three. And that still works really well. It has a bathtub. Everything is functional. I was surprised with how functional I could make it, but it worked. I was, was really surprised. So I'm just fixing the stairs again, adding that small little room. There's the bathtub. And it's a fully usable bathroom. It's really detailed. And then it's also going to be like a cauldron nook, which has which is really a detailed as well like i don't know no it's not in this thumbnail it's in the second one so uh, yeah this is a two-parter just because of how long these videos are although this part isn't that long not that i know no it's like 14 minutes no it's not that long but i really don't want to do 30 minute sims builds i want to at least like cut it down to like 20 minutes or less Maybe just over 20 minutes if I have to, but it, I don't want it to be too big. Uh, so I'm just adding a little bit more detail, pumpkins. I don't know why I added pumpkins there. This, like I said, this build was months ago, so it really doesn't make sense. Just adding some ivy. Um, yeah, just a lot of ivy. I probably delete some around the windows just because I, I think it got a little bit out of hand. But I do thin it out a little bit later. Um, but yeah. So. Mm, yeah. I, I don't, This is why I don't do a lot of speed builds where I talk. Because I run out of things to talk about. And yeah, here's the little build. It's cute, isn't it? Like, unless there's something that I want to talk about in the build. Like, oh, how I did this, how I did that. Um, yeah, here, I just basically scaled these down further with tool. One is 0.1, and then one another one is 0.2, and then the other one is, I think, 0.3. Um, so they're basically just 0.1 size bigger than the other, and I just wanted to have them floating around and give this magical feel. You know, a really nice magical feel to this place, because... Well, I wanted a magical cottage core home, and I built it. You know, I could have definitely, I definitely could probably build a bigger cottage core home with with cottage living currently now and and all that stuff. Uh, but I don't know if I'm gonna like. I said I have too much to do now. Uh, so yeah, that is basically it for this video. Remember to do all those good things that YouTube wants you to do, like liking, subscribing, sharing the video, maybe even. Mm -hmm. okay, but yeah, that's, uh, that's probably it for me now, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I think that I, I think I'm